We gotta find some minnow traps. We gotta find the bait for minnow traps because we're going minnow trapping. Look who we got. Buy them all. Yeah. This guy. You break it, you buy it, son. Look at them all. Oh my god, look at them all. Can you see that? Oh, he's down there. Oh, there's a goldfish. There's a goldfish. He's going, he's going. I can't see. <laughs> Oh, he's pissed. I would say female. Yeah, female. Yeah, female. Yeah, female. All right. Come here, buddy. Come on, big dude. Is there? Oh, yeah, there's so. Oh, yeah, there's minnows. Oh, 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 What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to another video. Before we jump to the guy, I'll let you know that BetterHelp is sponsoring today's video. Regardless if you've got a clinical mental health issue like depression, or if you're just going through a little bit of a rough patch, therapy can give you tools to approach your life in a completely different way. BetterHelp's mission is to make therapy more affordable and more accessible, because finding a therapist can be really hard, especially when you're limited to the options that are available in your area. BetterHelp is a platform that makes it easier to find a therapist because it's online, it's remote, and just by filling out a few questions, BetterHelp can match you to a professional therapist in as little as a few days. It's super easy to sign up and get matched with a therapist. All you have to do is go to betterhelp.com slash flair or click the link in my description down below. Clicking that link not only supports the channel, but it also gives you 10% off your first month of BetterHelp. And if you don't really fit with your first therapist, there's nothing to worry about. You can easily switch therapists without stressing about insurance, who's in your network, or anything like that. So if you're struggling, consider online therapy through BetterHelp. Click the link down in the description down below, or just go to betterhelp.com slash flair. Huge shout to BetterHelp for sponsoring today's video. It's brands like them that I partner up with that allow me to do what I do every single day, which is make videos for you guys at home to enjoy. So that being said, let's get back to the video. Shoo! What's going on, folks? Welcome back. What are you doing? Bam's on a meeting. He's he's no fun. What the same hell? Big Junior. What's happening? Big Junior's or Big Rainbow Horse Minner guy, huh? Rainbow yeah, Horse. Red Horse? Thing. Whatever they're called. They're not, it's not real. Rainbow Horse? So what we're doing, okay, we're going to Walmart because I sold all my minnow traps during the whatnot. So we gotta find some minnow traps, and we gotta find the bait for minnow traps because we're going minnow trapping. The purpose of huh? selling the minnow traps if we just gotta go get more minnow traps. I didn't think that far, okay? I'll be honest with you. I was just was like, oh, I can sell that. And I'm like, wait, I need that. It's okay. for the pond though. Yeah, true. It's for, technically, it's for the pond. So as you guys know, unless you're new here, we stocked a bunch of really big fish in the hatchery pond. Okay, giant crappie, big old trout, giant bluegills, eaters, big old hosses, okay? The thing is though, in order to keep them growing and get them even bigger, we gotta feed them. And instead of going and buying minnows, because that's just, it's pretty short lived. Like you buy them, they're gone. But if you buy a minnow trap, you catch your own for free. It's like teaching a man to fish versus giving a man a fish. Let's feed him for a day versus feed him for a lifetime. Yeah, you buy a minnow trap, you waste a lot of time catching minnows. This is basically what's gonna happen. So we're gonna go and try to get some minnow traps. I called Big Junior, I said, you got any minnow trap and juice? He says, yes. I've got this creek, and it's got rainbow horse minnow. They're red, red horse, not rainbow. rainbow. He says rainbow. Red, red horse minnow is not a thing too. either. I'll show you right now. Let me see what what's a red horse minnow look like. But anyway, so we're gonna go minnow trapping today. <laughs> anyway, so uh, yes, we're going after whatever whatever a big old crappie can eat is the plan. So they gotta be pretty small. Let me see it. You're t huh? Those are not. You tell me that's in a random stream red nearby. Shiner. You called them minnow is a North American species of freshwater fish. But that's that's what they look like. Yeah, I see why he calls them rainbow horsefish. Though I mean, they look. They, Where, where's the horse come from? That's just what my grandpa called them when we were kids. That's all I know. All right, ra I, I like rainbow horse minnow. Okay, I like that. So we're gonna hopefully see if they've got some minnow traps because I sold all mine. They don't have a bunch. I mean, I'd say we probably need to run between four and eight units. So if they don't have a ton, we'll just end up. <laughs> you just knocked that off. That was not me. That was you. It have been here for two minutes. Shelf. God, Banjo ain't even here. Okay, so like I said, we're gonna see what they got for minnow traps, and then we're gonna get food. What do you usually put in there? Dog food, and then uh, big Cheez Its guy. Yeah, Cheez Its. <laughs> huh? Yeah, that's no. Yeah, Is no, that like that's the deal though. That actually they just works. Disintegrate and disappear. It's the same thing as bread. So I usually use. Do I'm a dog food guy. Oh, you know what would actually work? Some beefcake jerky, but we can't waste the nectar. We can't. But, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, rib. Oh, they look, dude. They're right. It's almost like they knew we were coming. Look at this. Look what we got. Buy them all. Buy them all. Look what we got dangling here. One big junior. Two, three. I'd buy them all. Buy them all. Load them up. All. Load them up, boys. Six. There it is. We got some minnow traps. Yeah. You, you break it, you buy it, son. Ooh, you know what we should also get? I own 90 of them, but we forgot them, so we need to buy one. I would say just one of these little originals would do it. Classic foam. 
Really? You think yeah, so? I, like that I think this one breathes better. <laughs> they, uh, they won't die immediately. Yeah, there you go. That'll work. That? Yep. That All right, so we've got minnow buckets, some string, some minnow traps. Let's go find some cheeses. Okay, I lied. We're getting dog food first. How big is that? That looks good. You want to get that one? Yeah, that's good. Cables and bits? I think that should work. All right, what do you think? Scooby Doo, Scooby. reduced fat, cheddar jack, Buffalo extra toasty. Wing. You ever tried that? Buffalo I wing? Like that would be kind of good. I extra like big? Um, you sh should we get some Scooby snacks? Scooby snacks. Get some Scooby snacks. What else? Bread? Do you like bread or no? Bread? Not. Bread should we do some bread? All right. All right. We might as well get a good variety going because we're going to basically set all these out and then we're going to go home and you guys have been hearing us talk about improvements we're going to make on the farm, right? We're going to give Deb a new house. We're going to move the rabbits. We're going to do all that stuff. We're going to do a hopefully a water change uh, with, the, with the hatchery pond to get some fresh water before we put these minnows in. Um, and so we're just gonna basically work on the house, get everything ready for winter, and then we're gonna come back, check the traps, hopefully have a pile of minners, and then go back and watch the crappie eat them. You guys stay tuned. Shoo! All right, how's your meeting, Banjo? You get anything, solve world hunger, anything yep. good? Yep. Really? Um, well, the good news is we've got lots and lots of minnows. Look at that, shoo! Wow. Oh yeah, this is what Big Junior's secret. Really, the Scooby-Doo ones? What, yeah. They work better? Yep, that's what he said. I think he's just hungry. Oh, he's hungry. Those are good, honestly. I like this. So we got a bunch of them. We're gonna we're in some like urban. I don't even know what that is, but they're doing something up there. But there's this creek over here that looks a little juicy. We thought maybe we'll start here. Oh, dude, this is crystal clear. Oh yeah. There's oh there's minnows, dude. There's minnows right here. Can you see them? Dude, there's minnows. I don't know if you guys can see. Oh my god, we're gonna catch so many. I don't think they're ra rainbow horse minnows, but there's some. This is really clear. This looks really good, dude. So we'll probably end up just chucking. You know, I'd say probably like since we know there's some here, maybe like two or three here, and then this creek goes like all the way around and so we'll probably just pick a couple other spots throw them in and like so we'll let them marinate for a little while but well looking good so far all right let's get some traps going boys that's pretty good really all right so these this falls through a little bit but i think once the water hits it should swell yeah. and it shouldn't hopefully we're getting the trifecta we got cheese it's brioche and kibbles and bits who's the sam <laughs> What'd you do? God, you do I want to see your rainbow horsemen or whatever they are. Dude, they're real. I feel like they're not. <laughs> Why would no. you feel like that? Because they're like bright red and I've fished this state my entire life and I've never seen that. How many times have you, well, I guess probably a couple times you went and tried to find minnows. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, a few times, but I've never seen the rainbow. I've seen a lot of minnows in my headless life. Headless horsemen or whatever <laughs> you got yeah, going over here. That's not real. Headless. Oh yeah, the minnows are still there, boys. Look at them all. Oh my God, look at them all. Can you see that? Oh yeah, yeah. they're everywhere. Yep, right in the deep. One in. Banjos is in the depths. Are they? There's some, the big ones. Oh, there's a in. big one. There's a big one. Oh, they're finding it, dude. Those are perfect crappie eating sound of the guns. I looked deep. I could see like some pretty good sized ones, too. Hopefully, they make their way in. That's the whole thing. I mean, we need like a cast net with like teeny holes. I can just yeah. whip it. Banjos got his way down deep. Where's yours? Big Junior's is in. So we got three here since we actually found minnows. Oh, big fish. What are those? Bluegills. Are they bluegills? Big bluegills. Dude, there's giant bluegills. Oh, there's oh, no they're all over there. So we're going to let them load up because they're all in there. There's a big one. Look at that. That's a green sunfish. Yeah, it is. Big green, big old greeny. Well, we've got like six more traps, so let's keep setting them. Shoo! All right. Next spot. Banjo got himself a little minnow trap. Don't yep. shake all the food out now. Easy there, buddy. So here's the continuation of the creek. Now we're in people's backyards. So this is maybe trespassing. That's fine. We'll be all right. So here, I thought I saw one. Oh, yeah. They're right there. They're right there. You can't see. It's cloudy, so you probably can't see it. Oh, yeah. So a little to the left there. Yep. You got it. Right there. Right there. Yep. Right there. I don't see any swimming to it yet but I, oh there's a big tadpole down there i bet there's some crawdaddies in this son of a gun too i think they'll find it oh yeah they'll be all right all right so we got one here sorry we got one here and we're gonna throw one on the other side of the road oh yeah we're gonna definitely gonna get hit we're making a move boys all right here we go oh yeah that should be good oh there's a goldfish there's a goldfish he's going he's going he's going you see him under there there's a gold a bright orange goldfish bro really? i swear to god dude there's a ton of fish here there's, yeah, there's there's a lot of minnows on this side. Oh, what was that? That was a school of something. This is the juice right here, boys. This is the juice. Holy smokes. Hopefully the, the bait that we have is what they're after. But, dude, they, there's there's more minnows here than that than the first spot, to be honest yeah. with you. I mean, this place is chock full. Yeah, this place is chock full, dude. They're all, see them all pouring out from under the bridge? Yeah. I don't know if you guys can see all that or not. I saw, I saw a school of some bigger fish. It could have been like a bullhead school or 
something. I wasn't quite sure. But, dude, there's so many of them down there. There's a lot of minnows here, boys. Well, they're not swarming that trap quite yet. Hoping the bait that we picked is the right bait. Let me know. You guys are professional minnow trappers. What are you guys using for bait? But we're going to keep moving because it seems like we keep finding better and better spots. And we've got, I think, like four, three or four more traps to go. So you guys stay tuned. Shoo! All right, next spot. We're going over to this bridge. This one looks nice and juicy, boys. Oh, they're yeah. They're, I see you now out there. All right, let's do like I said. Let's don't two let's traps. Dropping yours down the middle, banjo. Yeah. Yours is freaking stacked. They're not gonna run. They're not gonna run out of food and banjos. Whoa. So we're just in literally in somebody's neighborhood here. There's a pretty good amount of minnows through here. God, Lee, banjo, you got that, that's the most full minnow trap I ever darn did see. One. That one's full. That's all I know. Jake's throwing his right here. Banjo's got his dang one right here. So I think we got one, maybe two left. So we're gonna keep going. We basically are just finding new spots. That way we can ensure if we don't catch any minnows doing this, I don't know really what to tell you because they're they're here. I don't know if we used the wrong. Maybe the cheese is not the deal. What do you think? Not cheeses are the deal. Okay, all right, we'll find out. Shoo! All right, here we go. What you got going on? Two left. Throw them both out. Let's see. It. Oh God, yeah. All those ripples. All those ripples are all fish. Drop her in the hole. Yep. She's in the hole. Yeah. If you want to throw yours like that sandy area where there's like the little white, like that, I think we're gonna have some pretty good luck. Yep. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that's like 10 traps. So we've got a bunch deployed. So we're going to head back to the house, get some stuff done, get the animals ready, because it is going to be really cold here in like three or four days. Um, it's looking like it's going to be like down to like 21 degrees this weekend. So got to get ready. We're going to come back and hopefully get just an old pile of minners. And then uh, we should be in business. So you guys stay tuned. Shoo! All right, we made it back, ladies and gentlemen. So it is time to overhaul the backyard, getting ready for winter, finally. So we've got another rabbit enclosure, okay, that we brought from the old house. This is the existing rabbit enclosure. Brad's here to supervise. That's right. No, he's he, he's, he's sexing the rabbits. He's sexing the yeah, rabbits. Yeah, yeah. so I'm going to grab him by the back of the neck and uh, do the butthole pushing. <laughs> hey, you said it, not me. So we are going to get these guys, these cute, adorable little rabbits. We're going to get you guys moved because right now the north is that way, which means you get north wind blowing right in there. So we're going to try to strategically move them. But we also got to get Deb situated because Deb, although she looks super excited today, I'll tell you what. <laughs> Deb, you've never experienced, well, you probably have experienced winter, but not here. So, uh, same thing. She doesn't have a ton, she's got these trees blocking, but not a ton of cover. So, we're going to upgrade you, Big Deb. You're going to go from that little lean-to to that massive camel structure. That was the house we built for Ralph when he got all horny and we had to separate him. So, we're going to try to take this dirt, that's a hill. I'm going to try to flatten it out real quick. And then we're going to take that right there, that building, and slide it against here. And that'll give Deb a north wind break. Then we're going to put the rabbits on the south side of that. So, that'll give them another wind break. And we're going to put basically both kennels side by side right here. And then Theo will be out there, you know, kind of by himself. Uh, the other thing we're going to do is we're going to build a bridge to Brad's property. Because right now our access is questionable, especially if it rains. This is, this is our access right here. And when it rains, it gets pretty messy. So down there where Banjo and Big Junior are, there's a little bit of a flat spot. So we're going to try to steal one of Brad's culverts, put it in the ditch, and then cover it with dirt. And that way you've got a nice bridge. You can come over and see Ralph anytime. Be good. So you like that idea? You, I'm always on your property anyway. Now yeah. I'm legit. Yeah, I'm yeah. The green line. I, I see. This is like an e, uh, an unwritten easement. That's a, the shared easement between between property. So we got a lot to do. Uh, he said minnow traps are out there ripping. I'm gonna jump in the skiddy. I'm gonna try to get this somewhat graded out. I'm not gonna promise it's gonna look perfect. I just gotta get the lumps and the bumps out. We're gonna move Deb's building over here, move the rabbit building there, add a rabbit building over there, split the rabbits by sexing them, and then hopefully go build us a bridge. And then potentially go over to the hatchery and get that situated. We're getting a lot done today. You guys stay tuned. ain't flat but it's close so there's the pad we're dangling with we wanted to make sure i made her nice and wide so we can fit basically one rabbit kennel two rabbit kennel and then theo's kennel it still is sloped but i wanted to make sure the water still drained that was the biggest thing so it's it'll be okay i think for what, worst case i can give theo a little flatter pad because it does kind of kick up right there but i think we're gonna be okay so now this is always my favorite i love moving these things we got the chain hooked up to the barn to the skid and I'm gonna try to do one, in one swift motion, parallel park this son of a gun right up against it. As you can imagine, it's easier said than done. But that's gonna be the plan. You should've rented one of them donkeys. That yeah, them. see yeah. the donkey's what you're after. If you guys don't know what I'm talking about, when they delivered some of the other barns, they had little donkeys and yeah. I ain't got donkey, but I got a skid loader and see what happens.
that's how they recommend you do that. You, you really think so, <laughs> yeah? So I'll probably hook, is that chain still buried? Okay, can I, can come, I can come pick it up. But I think if we hook up to it, and I just go straight back, yeah, as, far as, as far as I can go, that's just straight, that should just straight around. get in there we know she can't fit through there oh yeah <laughs> Deb definitely ain't making it through there so the reason why we went that far is over here where the rabbits are gonna go they should hopefully now have optimal space oh yeah this is this is see all the rabbits we're basically planning on putting here and pushing up against there so they get a north wind block and they got a ton of space now I you like it. that yeah that makes a lot more sense. A, there's a lot of space I guess we have two options you can either Deb Hang in there, Deb. You can either, I was planning on running them like this. You could always run them like that. Like originally I was planning on well, you know, having all their doors. doors. Ha well, their do doors are, both doors are on the end. end. So I was gonna go door, door. But if we want it up against there, you potentially could have like a little walkway. Depends what we wanna do. I mean, I was originally just gonna do that, which we can do. And then you just have space back in Let between. We put Theo behind them. Put Theo behind him. Should we put Theo in the back? Because yeah. he's got the least probably co like cover anyways. Yeah. We could snug him against there yeah. and then have the other two here. Right here. I, I like that, that idea yeah. better. That's a good idea. Rabbits and pigs, big decisions out here. We're getting ready for winter. We want them to be comfortable. So we got it graded. We got Deb. She's fired up. She can't contain her excitement over there, I'll tell you what. So let's get that one set up since there's no, no rabbits in it. Then Bands are going to start scruffing and pushing. I thought that's Brad's job. He said he'd scruff no push. I'm scruffing. You guys are doing Big Junior's on push duty. Phew! All right. Well, we got a uh, bunch of rabbits here. Time to start. We're just gonna we're just gonna get them out of here first because we actually decided we're gonna move this one first because we need, it's this, in my head this is more simple. This is more complex. But we want to do it right the first time. We don't want to do this twice. So we need to move this one first because of the location of this, and that's gonna go there. You can see we've got two panels laid out on the ground so that'll be so they can't dig okay they'll be standing on it and then we can throw you know dirt and hay and stuff on top of it so they're not going to be standing on metal all day long but at least if they want to start digging around they can't get too far no so training. all right banjo hey calm down oh there you go buddy. Out, buddy. Come here. Quick little He's fast <laughs> Come here, Thumper. Come here. Oh, why'd Thumper. you leave mom last for me? Oh, there's one more in the in the hut. Buddy, keep going. Go weast. Go weast. Don't let her go. Mama, oh, here comes Buddy. He's back. He's mobile. Watch out, watch out, watch out. Oh, look out, here comes Mama. Here's Mama. Ready? Go get your kids. Come on, Mama, get in there. <laughs> Move it, Mama. Hey, he doing? He's not happy about it. <laughs> you got it. <laughs> this rabbit's Who's winning? You're the rabbit? rabbit. All right. Come here, Big Junior. Is this Big Junior? Why is that Big Junior? Because oh. he's pissed. <laughs> Did he just attack you? Hey, you calm down, Ricky. Get in there. Join your friends. Join your friends. All right. Woo! All right, rabbits are secured. Don't right. do anything I wouldn't right do. The Yeah. yeah, just straight up. Yeah, here. Perfect. All right. Was that dirt? I hope. Yeah, I yeah there's no promises. I don't Those know. Are, no. Push it and then try, try to roll it. You guys pull. I'm pushing. One, two. Three. Oh, God. Here it comes. <laughs> that sound is really. Dramatic. It's just the tin. Okay. Keep going. Yeah. Yeah, go all the way flat. Pick it up. Like that. Yeah, can you guys take just, up that side or no? Yeah, oh, yeah. Okay, we're good. Ready when you are. One, two, three. I can't see! <laughs> Which way? A top the hill or the bottom one? Sure. The bottom, first bottom. one. The closest one to Debbie. That's yeah. Debbie. Right there. Yeah, that's right there. good. Here we go to the top of the hill. Can you guys get out? You can get out. Yeah, you're right good. Oh, right, I feel like that was pretty smooth, to be honest. <laughs> yeah. So that hut is going to snack on here. We just got to make sure there's enough walkway here. And then I think we'll cut into the other one. And put the big house. Yeah, we, we haven't even shown them the big house. 
Nate built the uh, Taj Mahal for rabbits over here. I mean, this sucker's beefy. I mean, it's uh, on a pallet. <laughs> yeah, you gotta use the skid for that. So this thing's double, what, double insulated, Nate? Double insulated. What R, What's the R value? R120. Wow. <laughs> oh. Hey, how's it going? Hey, how you doing? <laughs> Are you gonna live in here? Look at this. Double insulated, Again, waterproofing. This is nice as a big junior's house. Really? It really is. <laughs> So this is going to be wherever, whatever, wherever we have the most rabbits. We're going to try to sex them. If there's more females than males, then the females will get this one. Vice versa, obviously. But all right, we'll wait on that because that's going to need the skill loader. What are you thinking here? Do you want to get that uh, hut put on so it's just yeah. done? Oh. Work for comp. We're a rabbit. Who's that? Her, her, her. Yeah, I'm <laughs> that, that must be a new one. making those little funny houses at the fair. Are you just, <laughs> everything's a little sideways. Yeah, yeah. All right, well, let's, how about we, since we're all in the mood to be the like the Amish, let's move that heavy heavy house and put it over there. All right, one, two, three. Wow, you guys are really strong. All right. All right. Jeez. Jeez. All right, start doing this. Banshee, do you want sparks or no sparks? Fourth of July banjo. Where's he at? In a meeting. About what? He always leaves. About we're what? Working. We're working. About what? There you go. Happy <laughs> Merry Christmas. All right, boys. That's it. That's how you work way too hard for a bunch of rabbits. Yeah. Right we should have sold them. Should have just sold them. But now we can't sell them now. Yeah, we, we got village. Get the old Taj Mahal here. You ready to take a look? I suppose. All right. All right. So we're thinking since we got the big house over there, we know that's where Mama's gonna be. Okay. Yeah. So I think mama should go over there, meaning any females go there, males go here. Look at perfect timing. Look at you. Oh, I get to do the, yeah. the peeking. Uh, take a look. Come here, Bubba. You're all right. Wet from the can. Well, you'll have that. But he's just chilling, so tell me what you think. Anyone see anything? That's the little deal. You see what is it? Hole yeah, or slit? That would be the slit? Old female. I would right? say female. Yeah, female. 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 Right, say female. All right. Come here, buddy. Look at this. What do you think? It's a fresh dirt. Sheesh. You got the, the whole palace over there. Caesar's Palace. Don't bite the croc. Just take her, mama just out. Just give her a grab. Come oh, here, mommy. Dude, she's That's so big, dude. Rabbit. She's <laughs> huge. Oh, I should have done that one. That was a gimme. Yeah. yeah. yeah that was a good one. That was a lot of guesswork there. Is this thumpy? This might be Thumper. Big Junior. Oh, don't do that oh, one. He's so oh, he's so confused. Oh, he is so confused. That one's confused. disgusting. I'm not oh, doing that. Oh, oh, oh. Take a look, Big Junior. Yeah, I got it. Oh, wow. Just get it, just get it over with. So Push up. Another female, right? Yeah, it looks like it. I don't know. It smells like rabbit pee. <laughs> oh, oh. Do, you think it's, do you think it's a male I, or female? I think it's a female. What do you think? I can't that, see it. Do it again. Nope. Female. That's a female. I'm for female. sure that's a female. So far, all females. All right. Here you go, little mommy. Go in between its legs and find the hole and push up on it. Yep, right find there. The yep. Push up. Yep. Yep. There you go. You're good at oh. it. That looks like a male, don't it? Looks. Yeah, so you gotta push like you gotta back. Push back. Back. And down. And down. There you go. It's that a, looks like a male, a, right? Like a, is that Just a, a hole in the top, right, right there? What is that? That's a that's little his sack. nuts. Is that that's his nuts. nuts. That's yeah, his nuts. Yeah, he's a male. All right. All right. You're good at finding nuts. Look at that. Yeah. Here we go. Next up. Female. female, female, female. Okay, there's only one male. You know what that means? Guess can cook. We just did all this work to separate them. There's one hut full of rabbits. If there's, if there's one male though, you get rid of him. Theo gets the palace. That's what I'm saying. True. Yeah. The big Theo's balling. I, I like that. Oh, this poor guy's just by himself. <laughs> hey man, it's not my fault. I got nuts. Push. Dude, there, you go. there you go. There you go. Female. Female. Yeah. female. Mama, walk out. Look out. You got another one. Dude, we are all females, dude. This poor, I feel so bad for the one guy. One of these guys have nuts. Poor guy. Get you by the scruff. You're all right. 
You hate you're all right. See, Banjo, you're getting good at this. I told you you'd get good at it. Male. Male? Really? Yeah. Yeah, yeah I would say so. Yeah, male. Okay. All right, you got a friend. Don't worry. What are the odds that this one's uh, a female? I don't uh, know. We should be doing some bets here. I bet that male. One, that looks like, I'm going to say female. I'm going to guess male. Male. Yeah, I'm going to throw a male out there. I don't all know right. why, but all right. Brad's going to win a lot of money Let's if he's him. right. Yeah, all right. So, um, hey, hey, oh, hey, good hey, Lord, hey. old son. Hey, Junior's not very good at this. <laughs> Look for not worst female. case. Female, yeah, I would yeah. say. Really? Yeah. yeah. There's right, only man. two males. <laughs> All right. Wow. So, five of them were females. Two of them were males. That's pretty crazy. What do you think, Nate? You think you sell them and put Theo in the palace? I mean, that'd be the best case scenario, you think? It's up to you, man. I mean, it'd be nice just to have Theo chilling in here, but I think he's for sure gonna get rough with these two guys. Only one way to find out. One way to find out. The old Royal Rumble. We don't condone animal fighting. It's just, it could, it, he could fight, he could not fight. Yeah, I think Theo would start just beating ass What's though. Just start that kicking guy, him? That guy's loving the grass. Is man. he munching? Yeah. <laughs> even if they grew up together, they might fight each they other. They might still fight. So if you, even if you left those two, they still could they fight. Still fight. So an easy See, I feel like just get rid of them. I say get rid of them. Theo gets his own little palace next to his broads. We could walk well, it's one like, broad and then his daughters. <laughs> Yeah, I think we can walk in there and like play with. And hang out. I like Theo. Theo's yeah. the chillest for yeah. sure. Yeah. You know what I mean? All right. I, I think. Like I, I think unless you guys disagree, I think we can leave Theo there for right now. I think we sell these guys this weekend, move Theo over to the palace, and then you have two. Only have two huts. They're ready to rock. Then we can get Theo. Good idea. Brought. True. Oh, yeah. We just move the females over here. Yeah. And get rid of the then we'll have to do this again. We will have to do this again. Yeah. yeah I'm out on that fun. one. Now Peace. we got the See, now that we understand, I feel like he's certified now. Yeah. You can hire him. Big Junior wasn't very good at it. On Craigslist, look him up. <laughs> I apologize. All right, well, animals are taken care of. You guys stay tuned. Shoo! All righty, folks. Well, we are going to go check the first trap. We made it back, and we got the the little hatchery pond draining. So by the time we get back, it should be lower, and then we can start to refill it. So what do you got, Big Junior? Any minners? Oh, yeah, some green sunfish. Oh, yeah. Those are decent. Look at them suckers. Three of them? Yeah. No. Really? What in the Sam hell? There's a billion minnows around the suck. Or do our, do our traps suck? What's going on there? We got a few green sunfish. That's about it. We'll see it, Banjo. No. He got three green sunfish. How did he catch all the green sunfish? What the heck? How does that make any sense? There was a there was a million minnows around that. Do we traps suck? Do we just oh, suck? Big ones right there. Are they are they just eating like crazy? Oh yeah, they are eating. They yeah, have some big greenies there. Well, boys, I'm not sure what to say to that. That's not good. Hopefully, we did better. Hopefully, the other, the other, this one is flowing really fast. So maybe I don't know. Maybe the current pushed them out. I, I'm just making excuses. Some of the other ones are not as intense. So I mean, we got some, but those green sunfish are maybe a little big for the crappie. It'd be pretty tough. They look about maybe a little bit smaller than the purse we have, but they're they're pretty darn close. So well, hopefully, with the other ones have them. We got another seven or eight to check. You guys stay tuned. Shoo! All right, here we go. Let's see what we got. Next spot. Wait, what happened here? All the sludge moved in? That wasn't like that before. God, man, this we're really bad at minnow trapping, I guess. Come oh, on, Big Junior. Is there? Oh, yeah, there's so. Oh, yeah, there's minnows. There's minnows. Let's go. We got, there's a few of them in there. Isn't there? Are they red horse minnows? No, no, no one has the horse minnows, but you. It's a green sunfish. Green sunfish and a minnow. That crappie will eat that one for sure. Yeah, at least we didn't strike out. Hey, we got minnows is all that matters so yeah look at these guys all right so we got two there i'm gonna run to the other side before we get hit by a car that makes me feel good that i mean the mo the rest of them we have are kind of in that more calm canal area which is where we just cut those so look out don't get hit now all right banjo i feel good about it oh that was a massive carp whoa big carp it's yeah. big really it big. went that way Really? Oh, there's I, there's minnows. There's, there's there. minnows inside here. Oh, there are carp up there. Banjo, you have minnows in them. I can yeah, see it. Banjo definitely got minnows on this guy. Holy smokes, it's freaking windy out here, boys. Yep. Oh, oh Banjo! We're doing good. The mother load. Dude. What about them cheeses, Banjo? The, mo the mother load. It's, it's the rainbow horses. You see the rainbow horse fish? No. Dude, rainbow he's loaded. Horse rainbow horse? A whole no. thing of rainbow horses. Look oh, at that. God, yeah. Okay. Dude, now they're, I said, they're gonna be freaking eating good now, boys. That's good. All right. Dump them in. Let's see it, Banjo. So that's what you call rainbow horsefish? No. Oh. That's not what it was. They have rainbow red, horsefish. They have red tails and red. <laughs> I, I was assuming they would look a little bit more special than that. So I don't know. 
you some of you guys out there are gonna know what's what is the name of that minnow? You know, in particular. I don't. I'm not a biologist or anything like that, but like that right there. Carp. It's some type of carp minnow. Yeah, I mean, maybe carp? that's what it is. Yeah. Carp minnow. Well, carp minnow action. So, all right. Well, at least our crappie are not gonna go hungry. And that was trap number five. I think out of ten. So we've got another five, and the other five are all in the same kind of creek. I think there might have just been too much flowage at the first ones. So, we'll see you guys there. Shoo! All right, next one, ladies and gentlemen. Let's see. One, oh my god. Is it loaded? Oh my god. Is it? it no way. There's... Oh, dude, that one's loaded too. Oh yeah. Oh my gosh. They're all around it. Yeah, they are all around it. Oh, oh my god! god. <laughs> oh my god! No way! No way! No way! Like, oh, there's some carp. There's like yeah, there's actual carp. carp in there. Yeah. Slimy Dude, all that's insane, on. bro. That's insane. Holy smokes, dude. That is cr I think they that's are just the carp minnows. minnows. That's what it is. They're just carp minnows. Crap. That's a crazy dude, that is nuts, dude. The carp king right here. That's you got insane. it, buddy. Carp killer. Sheesh. He's the that's carp killer. Guy. All right, I'll let you guys get that one down. Bam, do you want to come yeah, yeah, grab yeah. this guy? Dude, we're getting on him now, boys, man. After that first one, I really my hopes really went down to zero. Now I feel really good. Really good. All right, let's see it, Banjo. Oh yeah, there's a handful. There's a handful. Oh yeah, look at all them suckers. I don't see any rainbow horsemen or whatever, but. Dude, look at this. Look at the freaking pile. Harvest. Stack of oh, fish. Holy smokes. The junior's eating good tonight. Wow. I'm excited, dude. The carp or the, the crappie are gonna go absolutely nuts for these suckers. And trout, the trout might eat them too. So I think we've got well over 100, and I still think we've got three or four traps left, so. We're harvesting, boys. This is by far the most successful minnow trapping adventure I've ever been on. Shoo! All right, we got, um, I, think so. I think three more. This one's on the old pedestrian bridge strat set. Can you see them dangling down there or no? Right under this oh, little yeah. ledge. There's minnows everywhere down there. Oh, couple one, big couple big greenies, on. maybe. Two greenies yeah. and a minnow. That is crazy. Yeah, that last trap was literally right there. That's crazy, the difference between, yeah. Oh, look at those minnows, yeah. You see them all sitting right there? So I don't know. You for tr professional minnow traps got there's got to be a, a rhyme or a reason. There's minnows right there, so I'm curious why they didn't swim in there. All right, well we're adding to it. Like I said, we got plenty, obviously, but maybe we'll catch something cool. I want to see one of them rainbow horsey fish. Shoo! All right, last one, boys. Here we go. What are we dangling with? Well, that one's like there's not. Those, oh, dude, look at the minnows around this one. I can't tell if anything's in it yet, but look at them. Oh god, yeah. They're, right right right. Just they're just around it. So we got. Oh my oh, gosh! Oh my okay. gosh! Look how near in here. Holy smokes! Oh, wow, look at all them stuff. Wow, anything? Any rainbow horsey headless horseman? No around? horse. How is that? Oh, there's a few. That's the weirdest. Minnow trap is like one of those mind blowing things. Those were four feet away from each other. One this cool. one was completely surrounded. This one has two in it. What? They're the same minnow trap. Is that? Is there a headless horseman in there? Is there a big one, one is. In there? The big one's a horse. He is a little multicolored. It looks like. Yeah, it's kind of hard to tell. Rainbow right there. Rainbow horse. That's what big juniors calling him. I think, it's a car, I think it's just a cart man, I'm back. Either way, boys, okay, look what we got dangling here. <laughs> I mean, a lot. There's a lot There's a lot of minnows. Oh, Banjo didn't even, okay, Banjo just added his. Yeah. So, obviously we didn't, they're starting to actually die. Yeah, I'll tie the water Yeah, let's, in let's get some fresh water in it. <laughs> Alright, some fresh water. They're still dying. Dude, there's so many. Well, we didn't bring an aerator because I didn't expect to catch two million of them. So we're gonna hurry home. Hopefully they're still alive. Shoo! All right. Hopefully none of these minnows. Well, most of them aren't dead. But look at the pond. So we just we just drained it down while we were gone to do a what they call a half water change. Which it's not. I mean, maybe it's half. Maybe it's close. But that that sucker puts out some water quicker than it comes in. That's for dang sure. So we're gonna have to run the we'll have to run the the hose over here to get it dumping in. But this is kind of what it looks like now. I know it's all algae and the leaves are getting in it. It's hard to keep it clean in the fall. Okay. Um, but we are getting that thing. We got I have I, a, a two. I think there's two bubblers. That'll be your tomorrow, Banjo. Oh. It's like a compressor. It's a full blown. It's for like a five acre lake. So I figured compressor. it'd be. It has a compressor that blows the air. It's for it's a five shoot acre lake. Yeah. Hell. Five acre lake. Dead. No, they're not all dead. There's just a lot of them that are they'll dead. They'll still eat the dead ones. Yeah, I said they'll still eat. All right, let's see. Let's see what these crappie are thinking. Remember what we told them? Like, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Throw, give, just throw like a handful out there. You mean, you mean dig my hand there? Let's see. Oh, they're alive. Okay. Let's see it. Uh-oh. 
Come here, Junior. Come here, Junior. There you go. He'll either get eaten or we'll eat him. Either way, that guy, that guy's alive. I'm not seeing anything. Oh, oh one yeah. just ate. Oh, yeah. One just ate, dude. One flash. Okay, sorry. Just, I would maybe just do it in like waves like that, dude. Oh my gosh, dude. Put straight up piranha action, bro. I would say more more are dead than I would like to admit. Obviously, looking back, if I knew we Big Junior was the Van Dam of uh you know minnow trapping, I would have brought a cooler with a fizzer. I just assume we'd catch four or five and we'd be on our way. I'd say like well you you're on the ground from the top too, so that's where all the dead ones are floating. So I'd say I don't know maybe half of them made it, half of them didn't make it. Yeah, I'd say. I, Like 92%. Man, those suckers really didn't do that great. I know it wasn't enough water, and I know that they're, they ran out of oxygen. I know why they died. I mean, some were coming back. That one looks like it. Okay, I think they're coming back more. I'm some watching. Are, yeah, look at them out there. They're, they're coming away. They're coming back slowly. Little I think, obviously, looking back, we need to be more prepared. We didn't realize we'd be so good at this, okay? I've just I've only caught like four minnows at a time, so like we just need a bucket. And it'll be fine. Don't worry about it. But they are starting to come back a little bit. Some of them are probably gone forever but like i said i think that i mean honestly oh Ooh. one just flashed one just flashed maybe not all of them are going to get eaten but i bet a bunch of them are going to get eaten a lot of these are going to come back alive and just have a little bit of a little bit of pep in their step boom and get uh and get smoked so obviously the crappie probably aren't too hungry you know we just put these in like four days ago so obviously they had a bunch of minnows when we put them in they had 10 pounds of minnows it's like thousands of minnows so i don't know if they necessarily necessarily needed minnows but we wanted to go out catch them now that we know we will get a state-of-the-art minnow transportation system and now that we know where to go we're gonna go back out there we'll catch some more and we're thinking maybe potentially get a maybe if we catch them we could wait till night and bring a little night light throw them down there let them start circling then you can watch the crappie feed now that this water's halfway done we're gonna dump fresh water it should be nice and clean we'll get the filter going here soon and then we're gonna do some nighttime feeding videos for you guys so hope you guys enjoyed today's video uh give me some minnow i wouldn't i wouldn't ask for minnow trapping tips because i feel like we're pretty good at it but there was some like questionable things like why did this one have this one and not this one but comment your favorite bait your favorite technique if you guys like these videos let me know in the comment section down below and subscribe